The two intermediate A football semi-finals are between Adamstown and Raith Namara and Lynn Barntown and Geraldine O'Hanrahan. So we'll go to David first for his predictions on how these two semi-finals are going to go. Yep. Adamstown, for me, in the first game, uh, again, we played them in a practice match recently with Ross Lair and, and, and they seem to be moving well. Mikey Furlong in the middle of the field is moving well um, and a good support cast around them also. Uh, they're obviously... Uh, not, not so long ago they were in a senior final so I'm sure they're, they're, they're hoping or expecting to get back up to the top intermediate grade this year again Rail Namara um, probably want to get want to move up the levels again b back to where they were maybe 10 years ago but I, I'd say they might have to wait another year um, for uh, this year for the other game Glen Barnton for me um, they seem to have a lot of players that have senior experience there uh, like Sir Michael Doyle, Shane Wilde played last year senior. So again, they, they, they look to have a strong second team, so to speak. Uh, they're playing Ross, who for me was a surprise. They beat Kilmore last week. Um, Shane Roach kicked, I think, 1-5 or 1-6 from play. He's a busy man at the moment and, and, and I think he's doing a bit of training down there as well. So they'll be well organised. However, I still think Glyn Barrington will have enough uh, to get over the line. They've been putting up some big scores. Uh, so for me it's an Adamstown Glyn Barrentown final So Adamstown and Glyn Barrentown for David Colm how do you see it going? Uh, yeah I'd probably agree with those predictions um, although just Raith Namara they had a great run last year and they have maybe a bit of momentum behind them um, Pat Nocter is still knocking over the scores I'm not sure what age he is uh, John Nolan I, I'd know very well I'm not sure if he's involved with the football I know he was with the hurling but they'll definitely be ready and up for it it'll be a big occasion for him um, Adamstown did be tried and tested and they've some strengths down the middle of the field and uh, straight down the field so probably experience uh, alone would, would lead me towards Adamstown with Brendan and, and Aidan involved um, the Glynn game I, 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 I'd fancy Glynn I think they've a lot of firepower a um, lot of senior experience you know with the, with the dials there's four of them I think uh, playing and uh, a great addition, I suppose, is Gary Delaney coming back from his soccer exploits. You know, he, he'd, he'd be a marked man on, on Glynn's senior team, or wh whoever they're playing, and he's, he's able to kick frees from all over the park. So with the extra firepower, I'd probably lean towards Glynn in that one as well, yeah. And finally then, Brian, wh what would you have to add then to what the lads have said? Yeah, not much to add. Probably a s slight bit of variation. I, I'd kind of be expecting maybe to see an all-district, all-new Ross District County final. Uh, I think Adamstown will have enough with Michal Furlong, James Breen and likes of Paddy Barden, you know, and, and with Aidan involved there and, and, and Brendan in the training. I think Adamstown will have too much for Ballygarris and, and I don't think the win that Ross had the weekend over Kilmore was as big a shock as people think. Uh, Ross are fairly strong and as as David touched on, uh, Shane Roach scored one eight, one six from play, I think in from full forward. And the two crowdles either side of them in the full forward line like that's that's a serious full forward line for 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 that grade of football so i my prediction for that is 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 an all ross district county final and finally then um i think i'll have to agree with the, the three guys here in, in terms of adamstown and valley garrett i think adamstown will probably have maybe too much there the other game i'm finding it hard to separate the two teams in my mind but i think i might agree with brian that we'll have an all new ross district final